Oh, well, listen, I did the phoning show last night. After That one was the early kickoff. Of course, I was on air from 10. We took calls from disgruntled Newcastle fans, amongst uh, other things, Arsenal fans phoning up, etc. But Newcastle, I, I, I found it quite interesting last night, Coffee, because Newcastle fans phoning up, having a good old moan, moan about their club. And I was trying to find out what Newcastle are and where Newcastle are meant to be from their fans. They're 12th at the moment in the Premier League, right? Now, the, the big problem with Newcastle fans, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, you can find out, is the style in which they're playing. They're not happy with Steve Bruce. Yeah. And they're not happy with the... He can only work with the tools he's got. And we know that Mike Ashley doesn't give him a lot of money to buy new tools. I know they've spent money, but they don't spend an absolute fortune. And my guess is... Steve Bruce or any Newcastle manager's remit when they come to the club is just stay up, just survive. You finish yeah. 17th on goal difference, goal difference, you get a pat on the back. And Newcastle, that will always be Newcastle until Mike Ashley leaves the club. Now, people are blaming Steve Bruce, and I get there's a problem because of his affiliation with Sunderland, but, you know, he's a Newcastle fan. They're blaming him. They're blaming... Some people blame Rafa. Some people... Personally, I think the blame is on the person that owns the club because he chooses the direction in which well, they want to go in. What I will say is, but... I think the 12th, aren't they, at this moment in time in the Premier League? They're in a um, decent position. Um, I think Steve actually has come out and said they should they want to be higher than that, especially when you look at the next uh, few games. They've got Manchester City, uh, Liverpool and Leicester. Yeah, horrible so they, they, They've got three nightmare matches. So they lose those three, uh, which they'd be favourites to lose them, by the way. Um, they could be in a, a lot worse position. But I just think when they talk about the football... I think it's the same now as it was under Rafa Benitez. Yeah. I think you could argue, but he's got slightly better players. I think he's tried to bring in players that will give him a little bit more style. He's got Wilson. He's got a forward in there now. He's got in um, Fraser. They've got in Almiran. Um, you know what I mean? They've got in Lewis, um, who's a wing-back. I know he's, it's been a bit iffy, his, his performance was at the start of this season. So they are trying. They are trying. But again, I think it comes down to but Newcastle fans want better football, especially when they're playing at home. At least Rafa, when he went away from home, he shut shop, he parked the bus. I think that was uh, absolutely quite obvious. When they played at home under Rafa, I think they gave it a little bit more gung-ho, they went for it a bit more. Steve Bruce does the same whether he's at home or away. I think that probably would be the problem they have, Newcastle fans. But no matter where they are, it's the same football. Um. Yeah, listen, I won't disagree with anything you've said. I think part of the problem as well is the style in which they played last night. It was, they were going long ball. We were talking about this in the meeting. We talked about it last night. At one stage, I think for the last 20 minutes when Andy Carroll came on, they had four forwards and they... they well, couldn't they still even... couldn't get the ball. Well, they couldn't get the ball off Brentford. No. I mean, it was embarrassing. No. I mean, four strikers on the pitch and couldn't, they couldn't get the ball off Brentford. Who do you blame for it? I don't blame the manager. I've never blamed the manager. I, I don't blame, blame Rafa. I don't blame Steve Bruce. Um, I think it is down to the ownership, where, without a doubt. Um, the adverts... Saying that, they've got slightly better footballers in now. So Steve Bruce probably should be getting better football out of them. Shelby's a good ball player. But what are uh, long Castle staff, he's got two of the long staffs who can play. Almiron can play. Fraser can play. But what should they Wilson's be? Wilson's a good forward, international. So they've got, they've got guys now that can... I still think it comes down to their defence. I've never been sure about any of their defenders uh, they've had over the past three or four years, even when Rafa was there. Um, and that's one area they've... For me, they've been really weak. What should Newcastle be? They're 12th now. That's where they are, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I just, you'll ask Newcastle fans that, and they'll say it's not about getting the Champions League. It's not about... Oh, no, they won't say that. Yeah, they won't. They'll say it's about the style of football. But I'm with you. They're 12th at the minute, but as I said, the next three games, it could be a disaster.